<laughs> Gosh, your Rudy, Silver Cup bread is good. Silver Cup and Rich Bread, the bread that's made with whole milk, brings you the Rudy Kazooty Club. <laughs> everything with the all-star athlete and boy genius this fine day? Swell, Rudy, Big Todd, but it sure is crowded. I'll be back in a jiffa, Rudy. What do you, wait a minute, wait a minute, Rudy. What do you mean it sure is crowded, Rudy? Oh, you know what they say, Big Todd. Two's company, but three's a crowd. Well, I've heard that expression, but I mean, where's the crowd, Rudy? I, there isn't any, it isn't crowded. Look at Well, it. Big Todd, one of our rooters would like to be alone with Polka Dottie just once. Oh, well, I don't blame that rooter because Polka Dottie is a very pretty young lady. Oh, that's the trouble, Big Todd. Everybody likes Polka Dottie, and this rooter can never see Dottie alone. Here I come to show you. Well, oh, oh, look at that, Root. There's Polka Dottie, and she's all by herself right now. She's alone. You better get that yes, rooter, Root. Yes, sir, Rudy, Big Todd. Dottie's alone this minute, but zingo, Rudy, the crowd will be here just like that. And like this rooter says... <laughs> Here comes El Squinkle and Poochie. And Mr. Deedle Doodle, oh, we never see Dottie alone. She brings her rooters and cousins, she's got them by the dozen. Oh, we never see Dottie alone. And if I phone her, say to her sweet. Say, where shall we meet? Supposing that we eat. She brings El Squinkle and Poochie. And Mr. Deedle Doodle, oh, oh we, we never, never see Dottie alone. alone. Gee, I see what you mean, Ruth. That, that rooter's got a problem. It isn't easy to see Polka Dottie alone. No, Sir Rudy. This rooter even tried taking Polka Dottie out fishing. Hey, there was a smart move. Well, well what, what happened then, Ruth? One day she said she was wishing that he would take her fishing so he knew we'd see Dottie alone. In a canoe then, we two then went gliding o'er the water. Far from the noise of her home. I threw the line in Thought I'd catch a trout. Oh, he got a bite. And pulled that line right up. There was a squeakle and Pochie. And Mr. Deedle Doodle. Oh, I never see Dottie. No, never see Dottie. We, we never, never see, see Dottie, Dottie alone. Boy, I, I, you know something looks to me, what? Rudy? It looks to me as if you caught something oh. else on that line oh, right there. Gosh, you're Rudy. Maybe I did. Yeah, pull it in. Oh. Pull it in and see what it is. Boy. Oh. Oh, Rudy, look at that. A loaf of silver cup bread. Well, that's a mighty fine catch, I'd say. Yes, sir, Rudy. Just what we need to make a kazootie witch. Oh, that's right. You see, Rooters, we don't eat just plain sandwiches, you know, in kazootie land. Not anymore. No, we eat kazootie witches instead. See, they're very special sandwiches. They're made with silver cup bread. Right, a Rudy. You loyal rooters must try a kazooty witch, too. But remember, in order to have a real kazooty witch, you must have silver cup bread. Oh, absolutely, because silver cup bread is the one thing that makes a kazooty witch so good. You see, silver cup bread is enriched and made with whole milk. Makes your favorite sandwich taste swell, Rudy. So tell Mom to get a loaf of silver cup bread for you. Then you can have a kazooty witch, too. Yeah, now remember, for the top and bottom, use silver cup bread. And in the middle, put your favorite sandwich bread. That's all there is to it, but what a treat. A kazooty witch, Rooters, just can't be beat. Yes, sir, Rudy, I... Boy, they are good to Yes, sir, Rudy, I love them. Say, oh, Big Todd, here's Polka Dottie. Hi. Hello, sweetie pie. How's everything today? Moody, Big Todd, it's what? happened again. Well, you, hey? Oh, you don't mean to tell uh -oh. me that old Gallipucci pup came in and, and wiped his dirty paws all over that towel of yours. No, Sir Rudy, Big Todd. Not Paw Prince this time. No? It's Bear Track. What? Bear oh, Track? Oh, Rudy, Big Todd, Dottie's right. There's a great big footprint of a bear right on that towel. 
Well, jump, Rudy, I never would have... Uh, well, you know, we're, we were having a little trouble with bears around the clubhouse. This oh, week. Rudy's those bears. They, they, we have bears. They keep coming in here and then they yes, go out again. Yes, Rudy, they... boy. Oh, yes. First, we found two little bear prints on the clubhouse right here. There That's they that. are right there. That's right. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I thought I, I thought I heard a bear growling right then. Rudy. Gosh, Rudy, me too, Big Todd, but they only sounded like small bears. Well, it wasn't any small bear who made that mark on my towel, and I want you to find out what bear made it, honestly. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, I want to tell you, she's real mad. I just wouldn't want to be that bear, boy, when Polka Dottie catches up with him. Mm, certainly must be a big bear. Gee, yeah. maybe you should go and help Dottie look for him, Big Todd. Well, wait a minute, Ruth. You mean the bear that, that made this big paw print? Uh -huh. You want me to go out and look uh -huh. for him? I think you should be. Well, I'll, I'll look for him, Ruth. All right, oh, Ruth. Swell, oh, Rudy. boy. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. I'll see you. Boy, gosh, you Rudy Rooters. Oh, we're sure getting all mixed up with our bears this week. You see, it started when El Squiggle Mouth and Gallipoochie Puff decided to play a joke on Big Time. And El Squiggle put on this bear skin and pretended he was a bear. And Gallipoochie Puff put on this bear skin and Poochie became bear number two. But suddenly, we see more tracks and we hear more bear noises. And the question is, who is bear number three? Tell Squiggle and Poochie, you go and get on your bear suits, and maybe we'll find out who bear number three is. Go for Rudy, Rudy, I thought I heard a bear right then. Well, me too, Big Todd, but the question is, did you hear bear number one? Bear number two? Or bear number three? What? Wait a minute, Rude. I don't get that. Counting the bear, bear number one, bear number two, bear number three. You you got me all mixed up, Rude. I don't even know. One, two, three. You got me. Yes, Rude. Rudy's big time. It's Mr. Doodle Boy, oh boy, look at him, Rude. He's still got his hunting cap on. And he's still reading that book about tracks. You see that animal yeah. tracks he's got? And Mr. Deedle Doodle also has a dog leash, Big Todd. He's got a hunting dog to help him. Oh, isn't that great? That's a nice idea. What kind... Oh, boy. Oh, gee, Root. I don't want to be a spoil sport, but Mr. Deedle Doodle just thinks he's got a dog on that leash. You see that? Gosh, a Rudy, Mr. Deedle Doodle, you've lost your dog. Yeah. Gosh, a Rudy. That's oh. all right. Listen, don't worry about it. Listen, Mr. Deedle Doodle, the thing to do is this. See, you figure this way. You say, where would you be if you were a hunting dog? Uh, that's a good thing. That's Boy. the way you think. Let's see. I hope he can figure this out. Uh-oh. Mr. Deedle Doodle thinks if he were a hunting dog, he'd be on the end of the leash, Big Todd. Oh, boy. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a minute. Down, Fido. I mean, down, Mr. Deedle Doodle. No, no. Oh, Gosh, boy. Rudy, Big Todd, I think your hunting dog has picked up the track. What? You mean? Track? What track? The what track? bear's track, Big Todd. Look. Oh, boy. But it's a oh, track, all right. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. oh I want to There goes your dog, Big Todd, off down the trail. He, he, he's, I've seen Mr. Deedle Doodle mixed up, but that's the most mixed up that I have ever seen Mr. Deedle Doodle. Yes, Sir Rudy, boy, I life. never saw him think he was a dog. He thought he was a dog. Yes, Sir Rudy. Well, what? you know, Big Todd, maybe Mr. Deedle Doodle wasn't so mixed up. What? You know, there just might be a message on that bear track. This bear, there no, there just no. might be. Oh, but Rudy, you're right, Ruth. There's a message on that bear track. Ooh, you see what say? that message says? Beware bear number three. Oh, well, Rudy, Big Todd, I think he's coming now. Oh, boy. Jump for Rudy, Root. Look out, Root. There's a bear. There's a bear right there. Well, you were expecting, perhaps, a titmouse? Gosh, oh. Rudy. Uh, 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 are you really bear number three? Who else? Well, take Wait it easy, Mr. Bear. You know, What's is that? there anything we can do for you? And it, yeah, you've got to go back to the forest, I guess, pretty real soon, haven't yeah, you? Is anything we can do? You have to go right back, I imagine, yeah. to the woods. Yes, young man, there is something you can do for me. Uh -huh. You see, I am what is known as a grizzly bear. Bruh. Oh, Rudy, you sure seem sort of grizzly to me, Mr. Bear. Ah, uh, that's just the trouble. I'm not nearly grizzly enough. He's not grizzly enough. Now, if I could just borrow your magic kazooty. 
What? I'd be a much better bear. Gosh, Rudy Bintad, this bear wants to borrow our magic to Zuri, but uh, first, Mr. Bear, you'll have to prove you really are bear number three. Uh, that's now, wait a minute, Rudy. Uh, but where are bear number one and bear number two? I just don't understand that. Oh, now. bear number one. You... Oh, oh, here oh, they are, Big Todd. Bear oh, number oh, one oh, and bear number two. But look, Big oh. Todd, bear number three is afraid of them. Oh, oh wait a minute, Ruth. Oh, how could a bear be afraid of a bear? I don't... Wait a minute. Oh, no. no. Wait a minute now, bear oh, number three. Let me see. Uh-huh, Root. Did you ever in your life before ever see a bear that wore a big blank mustache like that? Oh, I never did. I never did. It's our old enemy, Poison Zuma. You're no bear, and you won't get my magic to me. Add up, boy, Rudy. Give me all one, too, Rudy. Add up, boy, you. How about that? Bear number three, he calls himself all the time, it turns out to be all. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Ruth. Who, who are these bears right here, Ruth? I'll tell you in a minute, Big Todd. Wait a minute, in a minute. They may, they may, they may be ferocious bears. Maybe they go around and they eat people. You know? Oh, I don't think so, Big Todd. They're friendly bears. Well, I, I still say, how do you know that they won't eat people? Bear number one, show Big Todd what you eat. He's gonna show us. He better show me because, boy, I... Heavenly dates are Rudy. Bear number two, show Big Todd what you eat. Well, jump, Rudy. They both eat. Silver cup bread. See, I told you they were friends of ours. Oh, they must be, Root, because, uh, you know, anyone who eats silver cup bread is a rootin' kazootin' friend of ours. Sure thing, a Rudy. Gee, you know uh, why we want our friends to eat silver cup bread, Rooters? Because, you know, bread is an important part of your diet. Therefore, it's important for you to eat rich, nourishing bread like silver cup. You see, silver cup is made with extra special ingredients that make it extra specially good for you. I bet the bears know what those ingredients are, Big Todd. Oh, I don't know now, Root. Wait, they'd have to be awful smart bears to know that, you know that? Bear number one, can you tell our rooters one thing that makes silver cup bread extra specially good? You think you can do this? See Jump, that? Oh, Rudy, that's right, right there. Higher protein flour makes silver cup bread more nutritious. Gives it a better texture and a finer flavor. Bear number two, do you know what else makes silver cup bread so good for our rooters? He knows what they got. Heavenly days, Rudy, really look at that. They know about the, the whole milk in silver cup, too. I told you these were smart, friendly bears, Big Todd. They know that extra milk makes silver cup better bread, richer and more nourishing. So bear that in mind. Oh, boy. I want to tell you, I've never seen anything like that in my whole life. Rude, I demand an explanation now. Who are these bears well, right here? I'll show you, Big Todd. Bear number one is none other than... Well, what do you know about... That's old El Squeako Mouse right there. Right, Rudy. Oh. And bear number two is... <laughs> oh, I'd know that laugh anywhere. That's old Gallopoochie Pup himself. Yes, Rudy. Boy. That's bear number one and bear number two. They were just oh, fooling you. Boy. Oh, hi, Polka Dotty. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Were, but I know a couple of bears that are really going to catch it from uh, Miss Polka Dotty right now. You know? uh -huh. Oh, boy. Well, listen, I'm glad we got it all straightened out, Rooters, and you be sure to join us the very next time that Silver Cup Brett says... Who is the boy who whistles this joy? See Chance of a Lifetime Thursday on ABC Television. This is the one, or that one. This one. Yeah. Yeah, three, four years ago we were here. Uh, hey, the Rudy Kazuti drum is still here. Number one. Wow. That's real nice, right? Yeah. And number two. I remember this from the show. Here. Yeah. That's 
that's a real good one. See? Look at that. All right. And here's Early some, licensing. And here's some junk. Huh. This will be great on this one. You see? It's falling apart, but you put it away right away. You got, yeah. You got a bag or something? Yeah. It's in some way. All of this. Look. Oh. You see? Yeah. Whoops. You can send, when you send letters to people, grams. The Rudy Gazzuti gram. Oh, yeah, that was the Rudy Gazzuti gram. Wow. Wow, and they would go on oh, certain yeah. adventures. Yeah, this model. And they would cut to slides in the studio. This is all the artwork. Originally, this was all filled with films. We got that to the museum. And here. Yeah, it's puppets. Oh, for crying out loud. Am I happy about that? I think you're missing a set. You served them, remember? Yeah, you did. You didn't give it to the museum guy. No, I didn't. He insisted he wanted them. He wanted them? No, there's another set of puppets. Someplace, yeah. Yeah. Well. Interesting. Yeah, this needs major work. But at least you have something. Look, yeah. Yeah, you, you have a way to do it. Oh, absolutely. Let's get this out first. Uh, here are the golden books. The golden yeah, set. Right. Yeah. He's the baby. There he is, Galapucci pup number right. two. Oh, good, thank God. Oh, we got two rubies. No, I don't think he did that. If he did, oh, I'm no, calling it mad as hell. No, 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 he didn't. This he, tri it. he tried, remember? And what? He, he yeah. tried. Oh, yes, he did. Yeah. Oh, but we're in good shape. These are neat. They need a lot of work, but we have yeah, two but of these. No we one. have three rubies and two that, that's, uh, polka, polka dotty. dotty. You, now, I know you've got uh, Sire, uh, uh, the villain, and all he, of He might be in, oh, look at this. These are all the buttons that were sent to the kids. And you have a lot of masks. Yeah. This is uh, photographs from Rudy. Come on. Look at this. Beautiful quality. What the and the is? sets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can see for yourself. Who's that? Yeah. It's like one of the sponsors. Yeah. Oh, this is great. That's Mr. Beetle. Doodle Doodle. Yeah. Who's that? Is that, uh... Oh, that's, uh, an, uh, a, uh, well, uh, one of the guys was working, working for him with me. Director, producer? Yeah, not quite that. Uh, uh, an associate producer, you think. Uh, this is a chief, a host. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, wait, 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 look at all the fan mail. Yeah. Well, you can see what's possible here. Oh, I, I've never seen this part of the, you know, where you see, get to see the full set. And there's a chef. Well, I got pictures of that. I got Paul that. Ashley must be one of them. Yeah, he's gone, isn't he? Yeah. Chuck McCann has a set of puppets. Oh, he got yeah, from he, he got from uh, Paul Ashley's oh. archives. Well. Because I want to get in touch with him. Well, you can see this is great. what you can do with this. Yeah. The cards they used to cut to, for the gags. Oh, that's... Uh, Todd Russell. Todd Russell. Coca-Cola, I like oh, that. Good. You want coca oh, this Great. This is an ad from Varel's for toys. So you got to have one of the Rudy's on. Here's, here's the Rudy drum. 98 cents. 98 cents? Yeah. Is this the stationary or is it something else? All stationary. Well, I don't care. Mm -hmm. what, what, what year is this? 1953. Yes. Ah. Tempo Magazine, third annual TV award. The $64,000 question, 1956. Here's the costume. When he was a conductor, in Rudy's hat. And there's Pookie Dooney's little outfit. Uh, outfit. 
Batteries. Okay. Oops. We wanted everything for the exhibit. 